So I just bought this new light. This is why I'm grinning, is I, I bought this new light here, which it looks fantastic in the bus. But as soon as I turn the camera on, my face is just yellow as it can be. Uh, so I almost, uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know if I, I, I could see, let's see what happens if I turn the light off right quick. Uh, yeah, see now it's way too dark. Uh, I'm just thinking to use that as, does that help? Yeah. Hey, not too bad. Alright, now I need my coffee. Right. What about this angle? That's a little bit better right there. Yeah. So I haven't made a video in a while. And that is largely because I have been... What's that, what's that saying? With my nose to the grindstone? Is that, what it, is that what it is? I'm not entirely sure. <coughs> But my typical day goes like this. I wake up in the morning and I go to Starbucks with my laptop. I got a new laptop. This, this beautiful little thing right there. <coughs> After my father gave me a donation, uh, which was both uh, a pleasant gift and uh, in a way kind of like a, uh, how do I put it, like, it was like a farewell gift, almost, like a, like a severance package, so, it, it was, I'm glad that I got it, <laughs> but at the same time, it's like, well, uh, uh, have a nice life, so, yeah, uh, th this is one of the reasons why I haven't I have not made videos in a while. Is just this whole situation uh, with the family, with uh, not having a job, and trying to get to where I can make money. So my goal right now is to get to where I can make money online, either you know fr from whatever streams of in uh, of income I can find, whether it's through making YouTube videos, which I'm not I'm not banking on this. I don't. I don't feel like I have, for one, I don't feel like I have the TV personality to to make money online, or but even I don't really have ideas for YouTube content. <coughs> when I do make videos, it's more just spontaneous. Uh, I didn't even know that I was going to talk about this when I hit the record button. I was just like, you know what, I haven't made a video in a while. And, uh... Uh, yeah, let me just update people on what's going on in my life, because uh, I don't even know, I've never actually looked at my subscribers list, I don't know who has subscribed to my channel, I don't know if they're people I know, or if they're strangers, I don't know who they are, uh, I don't know if I can even see that information, but, uh, <coughs> So yeah, I'm coming up on, let's see, this is a, a year and a half of HRT. Uh, my breasts have gotten quite large. Of course, they don't look that large from this angle. I don't know if it's just because my stomach is sticking out or what, but... Uh, I swear they look bigger earlier. Uh, so... Uh, Uh, and the further I get into it, the more convinced I become that I am trans, at least some kind of trans, whether it's, you know, uh, gender fluid or, uh, a real trans, like the, the, I need a vagina to be happy trans. Uh, I don't know that I need a vagina to be happy. I'm, if I am that kind of trans, I don't know it yet. I'm still in this gender fluid state where it's like, one minute I see myself as a woman, and I'm like, well, that, you know, I like what I see. I feel good about what I see. And then four minutes later, I see myself as a man again. And I'm like, well, that's not, I, I kind of like that too. <coughs> Oops. 
So I don't know. Maybe I should just stay back here and make the video back here. Uh... I don't want to stand up though. I guess I'll have to bring my chair back over here. How about that? You know what it is? It just occurred to me. I think it's the blue light uh, coming in from the windows mixed with the yellow. That's actually causing it. Because when I sit back over here, it's not nearly as yellow. And I think it's just because of the... Uh, the, the phone is... The color balance, the automatic color balance, uh, I don't know if that makes any sense, but on the color balance things, uh, that's ye yellow is the opposite of blue. What I'm saying is that the, the, the image is more yellow than it should be. <coughs> uh, Uh, but yeah, uh, I, I like my body. I'll put it that way. I do like seeing myself with the more feminine thighs. I, I showed you my boobs. I didn't really show you my thighs. <clears throat> I don't know what's up with my with my belly. I swear, just like five minutes ago, I was I was as skinny as a twig, and now when I put the camera on, it looks like I'm pregnant. But. Uh, Uh, uh. <clears throat> yeah, so I was just working just now before I made the video, I was taking, uh, I'm taking classes at the local community college, and I was doing my, my homework, which Today is Sunday. My homework is due every Sunday, typically. And it just so happens that every Sunday I do I do a crash. I'm sorry, today's Saturday. I'm actually doing it early this weekend. One day early. One day earlier than usual. <clears throat> I'm getting a head start on my homework. And... Uh, I was reading uh, the the subject that I was reading about before I picked up the camera was uh, uh, decision support software. I believe is what it's called. And I was thinking about the the inevitable conclusion. Of the advancement of technology which is that there won't be any jobs for human beings except for priests and prostitutes these will be the only jobs available because AI and machines and all that they're gonna take all your jobs <clears throat> so I still want to get into it though I still want to learn this stuff I want to be involved in it if I can help AI take over the world I will <laughs> Uh, for one, I, I feel like, you know, if, if AI turns bad, I can say, well, at least I made an effort to prevent it from, from getting bad. Am I getting involved before the, whoever takes over and turns, a, pushes the wrong button that causes AI to go haywire and destroys the whole world. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, I don't know about that. I feel like it is kind of a... Uh... You know, you make the AI, you can make it to... Do whatever you want. I guess that's the bad part, though, right? <laughs> Just that you can make it to do whatever you want. Which is to say that it's not the AI that's the problem, right? It's the, the people who make it <clears throat> who are the problem. Uh, I mean... See, I look, I look pretty from this angle. This is what I'm talking about. Like, 
I just by changing the camera angle, I feel like I look like a woman now. Whereas back over here, I look more like a man. Maybe not so much. I don't know. Whenever I feel pretty, if I ever do like this, it's, it's a sign that I feel pretty. Yeah. Uh, uh, but yeah. What to do? I, I don't. I I feel almost like I I've I have to just give up on the family. I feel like I just have to say, I can't deal with this right now. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do about it. I'm, you know, in a financial hole. You know, where it's like my only options. If I don't do the classes and the other stuff, my only options are to go to uh, fast food places or gas stations or places like that to work. And I could do that. Uh, but that would mean that I'm kind of stuck here where I'm at. If I wanted to, say, hop up and go to Atlanta for six months and just enjoy myself, I can't do it. <clears throat> uh, so, I don't, I don't like the idea uh, of being stuck here in this town for the rest of my life, uh, with things being the way they are between my family and I, especially, and, uh, because they are the reason that I'm here. If they did not live here, I would not live here. Uh, it, it is not a... <sighs> it's, it's not a terrible place for trans, I'll put it that way. The more trans that come out, I think the better it gets. Now, there are there are a few trans people here who are out. Uh, I see that uh, I know at least two. Uh, there is another one from here, but she doesn't she doesn't live here. She she's a she's an entertainer, so she travels around a lot. Uh, but people from this area typically, a lot of the people that I know know her. <clears throat> uh, So I think the more that it happens, the more the more it will become accepted. I think that's another one of the inevitable conclusions of you know the way things are going is that unless some crazy kind of like uh, Hitler type figure comes along and convinces everybody that trans are the next Jews. Uh, <clears throat> You know, and they start putting us in gas chambers and stuff like that, then the inevitable conclusion is that trans will become common, you know, like everyday occurrences. It won't be in 10, 20 years, it won't even be a big deal anymore. Uh, and I, my bet is that a lot more people will be coming out as trans, but I think the t there's two problems with that <clears throat> at the moment two one is that it's not just the issue one is the issue of social acceptance that's that's one of the big issues for trans is social acceptance and self acceptance you know just uh and but that leads to my part number 2 which is the whole notion of Am I trans or not? You know, what is trans? Are there other options besides trans? Is it, you know, is it just because I have a feminine side? Does that mean that I have to take hormones and do sex chain surgeries and all that stuff? Is that, is that, a, is that the, what I have to do just because I have some feminine tendencies? Because this is one of the things that's currently a problem where people are transitioning and then realizing they made a mistake and then they they come back the other way. And they say, oh, I, I, you know, there is no such thing as trans and this sort of thing, which is not that's certainly not helpful for trans people, right? If, if a lot of people transition and, and then say, oh, I fucked up. There is no such thing as trans. or Not all of them say that. Some of them just say, well, I was wrong about, you know, I thought I was trans, but I wasn't.
or I was encouraged by my peers to, to transition. You know, I had friends who I was talking to and I said, I don't like my body. And they said, oh, that means you're trans. You need to transition. So I did. That's what I've heard that story. And I'm like, oh, my God. You know, where, <laughs> for one, you're hurting trans everywhere by doing that. Uh, but uh, for me, it. For me, it was, uh, I'm still, still not certain. I'm still going through this and still have these moments where I was like, oh no, I, I can be a man. I can live as a man. Uh, like I said, I'm some kind of trans. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's, I don't know if there are different types of trans. I, I'm, I'm just going to assume there are different types of trans, uh, but uh, because, you know, what is trans anyways? <clears throat> if trans means that I need a vagina to be happy, then I can't say that I am trans. I can't even say that I need to take hormones to be happy. I can't say that hormones have helped. The hormones have helped. A friend of mine was telling me that, uh, that you know, you don't, you you can you can integrate the feminine aspect of your psyche, I believe was the words that she used, and she said you can integrate the feminine aspect of your psyche without the hormones. You don't need to change your body parts at all. And I thought, well, that may be true, but just based on what, what I'm gone through, the, the hormones have certainly helped, right? It's certainly been a <clears throat> A great assistance in uh, you know kind of helping me see who I am and uh, so far the 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 biggest like confirmation for me that comes from that is sexual I know people don't like to make trans about it being sexual or whatever people because this is one of the arguments against trans is that it's just a sexual thing it's just a way for people to get turned on and that sort of thing But, uh, you know, gender and sex are kind of related, you know, <laughs> so, like if you have, if you have gender identity dysphoria, you probably have some kind of sexual dysfunction too, right? If you're not, uh, if you're gender dysphoria, if you haven't done anything to, to remedy your dysphoria, you probably have a hard time with sex, you probably don't enjoy sex, you probably feel uncomfortable with sex, like I did. You know, my sex life was just uh, one frustration after another. Even when I had sex and it was good, I just still felt like I didn't get what I wanted. Somebody is talking outside my bus. I don't know that they're on this same property. They could be at the bar behind me. There's a, there's a biker bar behind me. But it sounds like they're right outside my window. Almost. But anyways. <clears throat> oh. 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 I'm scratching my nuts, people. But yeah, I may write a blog on that one too, uh, because there was a story, this was, this was one of the things that made me try this in the first place, was a story I read uh, from ancient India, and I'm not sure how I can find it again, because I don't remember the name of it, I don't remember, I don't remember where I saw it. <clears throat> Uh, well, I know it was on Wikipedia, but I don't remember the article. I don't remember the uh, the subject of the Wikipedia article. And uh, but uh, the story goes it's a very short story. Basically, a, a man rapes a goddess. The goddess punishes the man by making him impotent. And of course, the guy's upset. He's like, "What do I have to do?" To you know, talking to the goddess, he said, "What do I have to do to you know to to make amends and you know get my get my." my erections back and uh, the goddess says to him go out into the woods 
dress up as a woman and act like a woman for you know some time why he had to go out in the woods to do it I don't know uh, but so the man goes out into the woods and acts like a woman and he gets his ability to have an erection back <clears throat> and so I'm reading this you know thinking about all the times that I couldn't get an erection when I was with somebody whether it was a man or a woman you know I didn't always have problems but uh, usually like on a first date or if it was like with somebody total stranger you know like a prostitute or stripper or something like that there was no there was no stirring in my groin at all you know <laughs> And, uh, it was very, very depressing. It was very much like, what's wrong with me? You know, this, this is where a lot of the, uh, uh, kind of the shame came from that, you know, if someone were to make the argument that I'm not really trans, I'm just a man who was... A failure at being a man because uh, I've actually thought that before that it's not that I'm not really trans I'm just I'm just terrible at being a man uh, because I you know I don't, I don't see a prostitute and think I want to put my dick inside her <clears throat> where I do Why exactly I bought the prostitutes in the first place, I'm not really sure. <clears throat> because I don't actually remember thinking that I wanted sex. Uh, but, uh... I don't know. But, uh... Yeah, so I'm reading this story. And I'm thinking, would that not be interesting if I were to be a girl act like a girl and get my 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 erections back <sighs> and that's been basically what has happened right especially now that I have breasts and, and I have these more feminine <clears throat> femininely shaped legs Ooh, uh oh that was my there you go see now now they look about the size I was I was expecting to see. I'm not wearing a bra if you can't tell. So but yeah, so when I look in the mirror now and I see myself as a feminine creature, um my my erections are much better than they used to be. And I don't I don't seem to have the same problems getting them that I had before. Even even when it's just me, <laughs> so, uh, I never really had problems when it, when if it was just me. But I did I did feel like uh, something was just not quite right. When I used to masturbate, I always had this just feeling. There's just like some there's something wrong with this picture. I'm not sure what it is, but once I started seeing myself like as a woman, uh, that's when I realized that's what it, that's what it was. I, I was that was the missing ingredient <clears throat> was that I was trying in the past I guess to see myself as masculine and that was causing the problem but once I allowed myself to see myself as feminine it's like my you know uh, But that that also causes its confusion, right? Because that when that happens, I start thinking thoughts like, "My friend was right. I don't need the body modifications. I can I can go back to living as a you know a man, and uh, just be a woman mentally, right? Just picture myself as a woman in my head. And I I have the secret. I got the secret. Uh, the secret secret to being a good lover. <laughs> uh, and I I'm actually thinking that right now. Which is one of the reasons why I was just laughing. <clears throat> so it is confusing. Uh, of course, life would probably be easier for me if I were to stop taking the hormones and 
have my breasts removed or whatever. <clears throat> and that, that might be what happens. It might be what happens. Uh, because that, like I said, so far, I can't say that I need the hormones. I can say they have been a huge help. And I can say that in a, if I were in a society where it were not a problem, uh, I probably would just be like, yeah, I'm just, you know, why not? I probably don't need the hormones, but you know what? I like seeing myself with boobs. You know? Uh, I really don't want to go back to my old body. I don't really have any desire to, to be back in my old body again with the with the man muscles and the the bigger shoulders and the bigger arms. My arms have gotten quite small compared to what they used to be. <clears throat> And I really don't have a desire to go back to that. If I were going to work at a place like my father's pool installation company and be a pool installer, then yeah. Uh, or any kind of man job, then yeah, I would want that body back. Uh, I am significantly weaker than I used to be. It's difficult now for me to do things like, there's a little knob on, the, on my water. <clears throat> my water container outside where I get uh, water for cooking. Uh, there's a little knob on the faucet and I'm, I'm having a hard time now where I didn't used to I, that, that could be the thing you know maybe it's getting just maybe it's just getting solidified or something stuck in it I don't know but it uh, it's getting significantly harder to turn that uh, really that's the only time I notice it uh, so it could be the thing not me but uh, Elon Musk. I just got a notification. Something about Elon Musk. I swear I get at least one notification every day with Elon Musk on it. <clears throat> uh, I, ha I have the feeling the relationship with the family is not over. That's just the feeling that I have. Uh, what I What I suspect is that they're this is their way of, of trying to discourage me. Uh, but I could be wrong. It could be, it could be officially over. Uh, I have tried to talk to them about it several times and each time it turns into a fight. Uh, it turns into not even a real conversation. Like it's just, it's just not even like the last time I talked to my dad to ask him for the money. Uh, we spent probably four minutes talking about the money and then another 30 or 40 minutes with him, you know, trying to get as many jabs in on me as he could. <clears throat> and anytime I tried to bring it back to like a real conversation, it was just like, uh, uh, just as an example, I, okay, I said something to him. I said, I said, well, I said, just stop beating around the bush. I said, obviously you're angry with me, you know? And so just tell me what it is that you're angry about. I mean, if I had to guess, I would say you probably feel embarrassed. I probably embarrassed you and the family and you're angry with me about that. Right. And so his response to that was something like, well, you know, I would open up to you, but you laughed at me 30 years ago when I sang to you in that, in the car, which is something that he brings up over and over again. Because I, I told him, because he, he, he tells me that I'm a, I'm a mean person, right? He said, you're constantly mean and cold-hearted. And I said, I, you know, I'm not mean to people. And he's like, well, 30 years ago when I was taking you to the airport, I, I sang to you, you are so beautiful to me. He didn't say that, but this is this is what uh, how the story goes. In the middle of our conversation, though, he, did not, he didn't sing it again. But he said, yeah, I, I sang to you and you laughed at me. So I, I I don't open up to you. And I'm like, this is what I'm talking about, where it's like not a real conversation. Uh, it's like he's bringing up something that happened 30 years ago as though that, you know, we can't have a conversation, 
right? He's basically saying, I refuse, I refuse to talk about this issue with you, you know, and this thing that you did 30 years ago, this is this, this big piece of evidence that you're, you're a, a cruel and, you know, callous person and I, and I can't talk to you about anything, you know, <laughs> this is the reason why we can't have this conversation. I'm just like, oh my God, this is, you know, uh, So yeah, I, I don't. It's it's a situation where I'm like I'm not sure what to do. I don't I don't know if uh... it's like I said because it doesn't seem to be over. It just seems like there's like this punishment kind of element to it, right? Whereas like the whole conversation was just like an, an attempt. Not to to have clarity, not to say, get out of my life, I don't want you in my life anymore. Which was something I actually asked him over and over again. I said, well, just tell me what it is, you know, that you, that you want. Do you want me in your life? Do you not want me in your life? And he refused, he just kept refusing to answer that question. And, uh, <clears throat> but insisted on doing this, this circular, cyclical thing of just finding something some way to kind of get a dig in on me and uh i thought this isn't he's not trying to have clear communication he's just trying to every opportunity he, he gets uh, to punish me that's what he's doing and uh so that that just gives me the impression that it's not really over in his head uh either it is and he just doesn't want to tell me and he's just kind of hoping that i'll get frustrated and, and just give up and be like fuck you i'm out of here uh, I thought that, and I told him that, and he's like, well, yeah, you're right. You know, I'm the mastermind, and this is my plan the whole time. And I'm like, maybe it is. <clears throat> uh, but it just leaves me with the sense that it's not over. It just leaves me with the sense that uh, if I were to pack up and leave, uh... I'd probably get a phone call or something like that. So where'd you go? Where, where, where's your bus? You know. <clears throat> that's the feeling that I have. And that's where I'm like, I don't know. That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know what to do about that because I, I want to move on with my life. I want, I want to kind of get past this, resolve this and just either it's over or it's not over. You know, if it's over, then let it be over and let me go on with my life. Uh, so I've considered ending it, uh, but partly because of, of this whole thing of just feeling like it's not over in their head. I've thought that I thought it's over in their head and they're just not willing to tell me. Uh, but I don't want to be that to be the reason that I decide to end it. I would rather have some kind of, you know, sign. So, uh. Uh. but yeah. In the meantime, all I do is work. Uh, I'm working on my. Uh, personal website, my personal portfolio website, and my business website. Uh, so I'm trying to start a design company the kind of dedicated to the arts type thing. It, it's not a... It won't be necessarily like a... How do I put it? Like it won't. The whole purpose of the website won't be to get clients. I'll put it that way. It'll also be to for me to just put up projects, right? It, in a way, it'll be like a portfolio website for my for my company. Uh, but it won't just be a portfolio because it's going to be a lot of tutorials. Uh, I'm thinking of just d creating basically like my own design school, uh, but instead of you know. Uh, having it be like in a college or something like that, just having it as, ha having it as a website, almost like Code Academy <clears throat> or something like that, 
Yeah, I'm, I was just thinking I might do it like Code Academy. Oh. Mm, I don't know. Excuse me, folks. Ah, me. coffee's starting to kick in and I'm starting to get ideas and I'm like I need to get back to work <clears throat> uh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, uh. is the video over have I said everything I need to say I will say if you think you're trans or you're thinking you might be trans and that's why you're watching this video uh, feel free to feel free to talk to me uh, I might be able to help you or, or I might know someone who can help you uh, but uh, because if I didn't have someone to talk to going through this this would be an extremely difficult thing to go through uh, I feel blessed to have a friend who I, who is more advanced than me in this whole process of trying to sort through my identity. <clears throat> uh, and uh, it's been a big help. And like I said before, this is one of the big problems for trans is this whole thing of just having to sort through their identity a lot of people you know uh they go all the way if you're a man and, and you think ah, i'll get a sex change i'll be a sexy woman and then you go spend thousands of dollars to get your dick cut off and have a vagina put it in its place only to realize you made a mistake you know that's that's what i'm getting at is talk to somebody all right and don't you know, preferably someone who will challenge your ideas and not just be like, yeah, 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 you're right, you know. All right, I'm going to end there and get to work. <clears throat>